Hello and welcome back uh, in our continued marathon journey of mastering algebra. Topic after topic and today we are starting a new mini journey revolving around functions. Uh, we started our algebra journey with the idea of functions and thinking of input and output. And we have used this terminology that uh, any value of y I can also call it as a function of x. And we know of function as an input output game. So uh, th this is an example that I want to start with, but I will go even lower and I will start with an example like this. If fx is equal to x plus 5, what is f of minus 100? Making the number slightly bigger just to add as much challenge as possible. So what this means is this is the function of x and this is equal to y, right? You want final value, final value. And this is the input, this is the output, this is the output, they are equal to each other. And what is the meaning of this symbol? That means wherever there is x in the story, instead of x put a minus 100 or whatever is inside the bracket. So wherever there is x in the story, I will put a minus 100 and my overall answer would be 95. This was too easy, so let's make it slightly more complicated. fx is equal to x square plus 2x and I say what is f of minus 10? So wherever there is x in the story, because wherever... So wherever there is x in the story, replace it by a minus 10. So instead of this x, I will get a minus 10 square. Instead of this x, I will have a 2 into minus 10. And I'm sure calculating this value is not going to be too much of a challenge. So this is our, uh, again, the zero level concept. Everybody should be familiar with this. This is not new. We started our journey with this. And throughout various chapters, we have looked at f of x, f of x, what is the value, where the function becomes 0, etc. So this should not be a, a new game at all. It's just that now we are diving into this kind of a game. So back to where we started off from. This is the function definition and I want the value of this function at x equal to one, minus 1 by 2. Again, play the same game. Wherever there is a x, put a minus 1 by 2. So 2 into minus 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by 2 minus 3 into x. And instead of a x, I will put a minus 1 by 2. And again, I will stop right now because I'm assuming calculating this is not going to be too much of a challenge. Hit pause and figure out the exact value for yourself, right? But this is something that I can definitely avoid, right? So another example with a little twist in the story. So this time it looks different. I have a f of x minus 3. If I said find me f of 5, that would be very, very easy, right? Wherever there is an x, put a 5 there. So this would become 5 square, 3 into 5 plus 4. So that would not be too much of a challenge. What is the challenge here? It just looks different. I have to follow the same process. I saw whatever was written inside the bracket should be put in place of the x. So this time inside the bracket there is an x minus 3. So wherever there is an x or if you want to elongate the process call it p for a second. So wherever there is an x I can put a p so this will become a p square plus 3p plus 4. But now you know what the p is. So instead of p rewrite x minus 3 square 3 into x minus 3 plus 4. And again, I'm assuming that opening up this expression and simplifying it is not going to be too much of a challenge. And that is something that I can ignore for now. And the idea is clear. It doesn't matter what I write here, whether it's a real number, a variable, or an expression, or another quadratic expression. The game is clear to me. Whatever is inside the bracket should be put in place of x. Now, whether it's big or small, it should not make too much of a difference. So let's try this example out, another small twist in the story. Normally we have a function of x and in that case if I said find the value of f of 7, wherever there was x in the story I'll just put 7 and my uh, work will be done. But the difference here is this is not a function of x, this is a function of x minus 3. So if I want to figure out 7, f of 7, I should rewrite this as f of 10 minus 3. Once you see the solution, once you see the method, why it is happening will be very, very clear. So instead of a 7, I am writing it as 10 minus 3. Why? Because I want to make it look like my original function. So let me compare them now. f of 10 minus 3. 
so if f of x minus 3 was easy equal to whatever that means wherever there is an x now instead of a x i will put that 10 so i'll put a 10 here instead of the x and add the 3 and my answer will be 13 so finally f of 7 my answer is going to be 13 what is the challenge here that i cannot put the 7 directly here because when do i do that if the function was given in terms of x but this time the function is given in terms of x minus 3 so I have to do a little bit of this gymnastics so that I can compare this form and then know what will go in place of x. So remember 10 is going in place of x and not 7. So again a minor twist in the story and we are just running through the formalities of what could be the possibilities. Can the function have more than two variables? Yes, very easily. It is up to me or the real world problem that how many variables I have in the story. So f of x comma y is equal to x square minus x y plus y square and now I am saying find f of 2 comma minus 3. What does this 2 refer to? 2 refers to the x because that's how you have defined x comes first and then there is y. Minus 3 refers to the y. What is the game? Wherever there is an x you put the 2. This game you already know. What is the extra step here? The, the second variable but you play the same game with the second variable. So wherever there is an x, I am putting a 2, so I will get a 2 square. Wherever there is a x, I will put a 2 and I will deal with the y in a second and then there are no more x's in the story. y is equal to minus 3. So y is equal to minus 3, I will put a minus 3 here. And then y is a minus 3, it will give me a 3 square which is a 9. So again this minus into a minus will become plus, so I will have a 2 square plus 6 plus 9. Whatever is the final value, right now I am not interested in that, that is child's play. But the, is the game clear that I can have more than two variables also and I can define my function according to my needs and then if I look at something like this, that means x is 2 and y is minus 3 and play the same game as earlier. Another example, another minor twist in the story, instead of the f, I am writing an add symbol or some other symbol, but if you see this form, you know we are talking about a function or an operator. So at xy is equal to x by y plus y by x, and at 2 comma y is equal to 13 by 6, find the value of y. So play the same game as before, wherever there is an x, put a 2, so 2 by y plus y by 2 is equal to and you know the final value is 13 by 6. So solve this equation now, I will get a 2y in the denominator, I will get a 4 plus y square is equal to 13 by 6. I can cancel out and make it so, cross multiply, I will get a 13y and multiply the 3 on this side, I will get 12, I will get a 12 plus 3y square is equal to 13y. And now we have a quadratic equation and by now we should be very very good at solving basic quadratics. So I will leave this last task up to you. Uh, because the only thing new here was that do I have a... So the only thing new here was changing the name of the function and giving you the output value and one of the variables and rest is just equation play.